So do you remember how uh, last episode we were tearing through this dungeon with uh, this amazing big minion death rattle deck? I mean, I mean, we did defeat five bosses in one episode. Do you see that card to the right hand side of that screen yes. right there? Is that not the perfect treasure for our deck right now? It couldn't be much better. It couldn't be better. There's probably something better in there, but... Totem of the Deed. And give me some big stuff. Big Beasts. Big Beasts. Which only has one that costs more than five. Big Beasts. What's the other one stuff? How to master No, Big Beasts. Big Beasts. Yeah. Yeah, no whammies. Everything over five mana is five mana. We got Deadly Shot, Barnes, and Maxna. I'm calling it. <laughs> Who's the genius now? <laughs> I could record with the deck tracker if there is demand. Let me know exactly if you, if you want us to run the deck tracker. I personally don't like it to have it on my screen when I play. It's distracting, but JJ runs it. If you want to see that, uh, we can do that because all the pros do it. You know, yeah, when you true. want to look professional, all the big Hearthstone dudes, they they totally run deck trackers. You know, you know what I love about the dungeon run? What? The bosses aren't actual people, so they don't take time to make decisions. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. This is his hunting ground. Apparently. Allegedly. Word on the street. Animal Companion. Yeah. People, let me know in the comments what your favorite Animal Companion is. Could be a Hearthstone one, could be a real one. <laughs> JJ, what's your favorite Animal Companion? My favorite Hearthstone Animal Companion is definitely Misha, but that's just the type of player that I am. Conservative. Yeah. Like, control. What's your favorite animal companion in real life? Uh, but, I don't know, I guess dogs, whatever. Uh. Dogs. Yeah, oh yeah. Remember how you said that his stuff is gonna be cheap? Yeah. Free kill command. Yikes, this is probably a really good but one. But, Max, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, because the dread dies. that kills it, yeah. Still, like, god damn it. He's, he's running a bunch of big stuff. He's basically doing the same thing we are, just that his cars are even cheaper. Yeah. And Crazy. he's got more health. Yikes. And he's got Gazrilla. Leech King? Direwolf Alpha? Oh yeah! Oh, charge Devil Sword, Direwolf Alpha. Wait, how much uh, attack does the Devil Sword have? Seven. Doesn't kill it. Doesn't cut it. That does not cut it. But the Lich King does kill it. Exactly. And I think he always trades if he doesn't have anything else to do with his minions, basically. Like, if there's a taunt, he always runs shit into it, I believe. Oh, well. Yikes. No. Bastard. How dare you. No. Son of a... I mean, between the death coil <laughs> and the devil so we can do something. Wait. Unleash and death coil. We are unleashing five, so that's... That's ten damage. Ten damage, we can... No. No, that's way more. Is it way, way more? more? Why is it way more? Because of this. What? Yeah, it's ten. two attack per. Yeah, it's ten damage. Ten times. Uh, yeah, plus five. plus five from the damage. Oh, one. you kind of. I was counting five damage for the uh, for the um, ten damage for the unleash. <laughs> oh, it's this. <laughs> yeah. So the question is. Forty nine zero. Are we taking are we, out Hoffer? Or are we taking out Leok? Taking Leok? No, we're taking both others. Yoke by him by himself doesn't do much. If he doesn't have a charge minion like a big one, like a king card or something, it uh, it's okay. Because we can build stuff, like build the board. He basically his stuff is gonna be free so soon. No, he played the high man though. <laughs> Alright. It's not a huge turn. So I guess Devil Sore and Wand. Or wand first. I was about to say wand first though. Bow is good. Free bow, free Devil deadly shot. shot. Good. Kel'Thuzad is really good. What's Kel'Thuzad do again? At the end of the turn, all that means that should, let's play Kel'Thuzad. Yeah. And then Devil Sword to kill Leok, and then the Deadly Shot the High Man. I guess I was thinking killing the High Man with uh, the Devil Sword because it comes back, but either way, you can do that and keep the Deadly Shot. Wait. I don't care. But then we have the two hyenas still there. We could bow one of them. Yeah, we can. But then we not got a deadly shot, right? We're not. Because we might hit a hyena, that's just not value. Like, even hitting a Leok isn't value, so, you know. Yeah. And there, that's a good one. It's a good one. Alex, learning some of the older cards now. Yeah. 
Like that was some bullshit back in the day. It's a giant mastodon. For, wow. And there's a charged devil sword. Wow, 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 wow. All right. And there goes our Kelfazar. Oh, there's patches. That's patches. I mean, if we if we deadly shot one of one of the ones to the left, that's good. Do we bow the mastodon? That's the question. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Do we deadly shot first, maybe? And just hope we get it. Yeah, just do that. High main and Mastodon would be good to hit. Leok would be next best. Alright, Leok is decent. I think we bow and Devil Sword the thing, then uh, patches the uh, Devil Sword. And that puts something against him. Wanna go Sandworm? I guess it's the biggest one we have. Yeah, here, pal. We're losing. Yeah. Remember how uh, a few days ago, last episode, I called that uh, we're totally losing first game in this one? Oh, God. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. I mean, it can take out uh, both the Hydra and the Taunt with the Sandworm. It's true. And we can play Nesting Rock with something else. Yeah. Um, Bowman or... Uh, I mean, Bloodworm allows We, we kind of need the lifesteal already, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, yeah. That and the Nesting Rock. Uh, yeah, no, we'll put it in there. That and the Hydra. Exactly. Yeah. Because the uh, and High right Man by itself... now we're in a decent position. Oh, I think we might be able to turn this around because he now doesn't have that many cards. So he, There's Winter so, Wisp. You know, most cards he has on will board. only be reduced by one or two. You know he's got huge beasts, right? Yeah. We got a Shredder. I hit the Bloodworm into the High Man and just hit face with the Nesting Rock. Maybe that's the one way we like he misses it. He probably still won't, right? Just play two things. Distract him. Now he's just running one of the hyenas in there and it's over. If you saw if you saw any way to save that, let us know. You probably didn't. Like if there was a way to save that, it was probably a few turns ago. Yeah, but that was still tough. I, I, if you got it the sandworm, even in text wise. He did it the fancy way too. We're done for. Is it the end of the video? No. We're starting a new one? Let's, let's start a new one with a different class. Different class. Gross. Priest? Warrior could be fun. Oh, I know something. Okay. Hunter. No. Bastard. Warrior or warlock? Warrior. Because... War you want something to... You want something that starts with the war. With the word war. That's what you want. No, because you mentioned warrior, but I thought warlock could also be fun with all the demons and stuff. We're facing a rodent again, man. Disclaimer. It's your viewer discretion is advised if you got rodentophobia. Rodentophobia. I don't know what's in this deck. That's the problem. Keep the heroic strike. Everything else throwing? Uh, heroic strike is halfway to killing him. That's true. Uh, and then we need to figure out what we're going to do. Okay, brawls. Like war eggs, the Are we building a control deck? Actually, doing some... Like, doing some skill? Sure. We already got a brawl. You could probably do some fun stuff with Dead Man's Hand. But... Like, building a deck around armoring and Dead Man's I, Hand? Do I just try to go face right now? Yeah, Heroic Strike face. It's a rodent. Come on now. War Axe face. Bam, bam, bam. It's easy. Let That's... me know in the comments if you know what the Fear of Rodents is called. Do you know what the Fear of Rodents is called? I do not know. Are you afraid of rodents? Nope. Right. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of them, but no, I'm not afraid of them. It's not a phobia, but like I just try to avoid them, type of thing. Yes. Right. Same with like spiders and all bugs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, might have a mild form of arachnophobia. I don't know. Not... I'm gonna get this guy a dung beetle for his birthday. <laughs> I assume that some of the packages are class specific and some probably are just like everyone can get them. So maybe the dragon package is just something that everyone can right get. Right now, JJ, I'm going to give you five seconds to spot the music reference that's on the screen right now. Everybody hurts. That was close, but yeah, nice. That took me a while. That took basically five seconds. Because I was looking at the cards. I didn't look at the package names at all. I was like, what does the unstable ghoul do? Uh, it deals damage to, yeah, all minions. When it does. Are we playing it? Are we using those? Because yes, let's use those. They have taunt. Yeah, let's use them. We're still trying to build a control deck, so we lose them. We could have gotten the cruel taskmaster though, which would have been really good with the warboat. Easily taking them out. That's cool. Because that would have given him plus three attack. Now we good. We do. And we're there's good. a cruel taskmaster. <laughs> okay. We could have played that. 
Oh, it's a battle cry. Yeah, I'll I mean... See. Play now? Oh, right, we start with one extra crystal, I totally forgot. Play now? You know, we're playing as if we didn't have that extra crystal. Doesn't matter. I guess we're playing definitely one more, at least. Okay, we're playing one more, you got me. Because Jade, this one's really fast. Jade is making me edit through, like, 45-minute videos. I mean, this is very controlled. There's not a lot to recruit with uh, the the O card. Yeah. And I don't think there's too many stuff we want oh, to talk with the no. Qualia either. No, I'll pick, so pick the everybody, everybody hurts. hurts. We're just making music puns. Also, picking packages with the same name over and over makes sense because they are meant to go yeah. together. And there's Kimosh again. <laughs> I like him. The question is, if you're playing Ramp Druid in this, would you want the extra mana crystal at the beginning? Of course. Because you have so many ramping cards already. The more the better, I think. Are we hitting him in the- I guess we're hitting him in the yeah. face, right? Because we still have another weapon. Easy. Okay, this is gonna be the last game for the episode. I'm not editing two hour videos to cut them down to like 15 minutes. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, people. Taunt him. Or hit him- no, hit him in the face. Hit him in the face, hit face and take everything. the weapon, right? Yeah, good weapon. Because once the weapon dies, this dude gets extra yeah. back as well. Weirdly enough, our control warrior is very aggressive. It's coming together. Right now, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Heroic Strike is done. Heroic Strike's lethal. Yeah. I, I, I was calculating lethal from what we had in turn before, which is also just one off. That's all, folks. Okay, that was... It's a good run so far. Wait. Oh, it did not yet. Yeah. It said we, one, was one off. We beat three so far. Is that correct? We beat three so far. In this run and one from the last run. So, so, actually, next turn, this time, we might actually get a bit further. Is that correct? Uh, maybe. I mean, it looks good. Do you want to cho choose a treasure right now for next time? Sure, let's do that. Okay, uh, replace your hand with legendary minions. The pro portable ice wall looks kind of fantastic. Yeah, I mean, kobold is a bit too random. Yeah. It looks and, kind of fantastic. And the mask is just bad, I feel. I mean, Rafam works for the control stuff, at least. You tell me. So Ships cannon pirates. <laughs> I mean, this works well with the whirlwind type stuff we're doing, which I don't think we actually have whirlwind. We don't have do whirlwind we? yet, no. But we no, have... we do, we do have. It was the beginning. Fourth card. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, it is, yeah. We have one. So, yeah, the pick execute it. Good. works well with that, and that spite is another one of those effects, and then commanding shout so nothing dies. We're doing that. Legendary would have been good too, but yeah. We're doing that. Okay, and we're playing Black Seed, but we're doing it next time. That's it. That's it.